Well, folks uh, in Australia continue to battle brush fires. They've been spreading there since September now. The fires have killed 18 people, and a fire crew recently was almost caught up in the flames. Chris Reason spoke with that crew about their amazing survival story. The Central Coast firefighters sent south to help with the Currawan fire were caught on unsealed Hames Road near Nowra. Embers cascade down from a fire off to the left that they can't outrun. The fire's on the road already. It storms closer, the radiant heat almost unbearable. Jasper! Jasper, put the blanket up. Suddenly, it's like driving through hell. This urban fire truck has no sprinkler safety system. They are beyond vulnerable. Flashover. The air so hot, everything explodes. This is life or death. They know how close they came. The cabin could have been a coffin. When we were in there, in, in the thick of it, we thought that this could be it. The crew managed to escape safe and sound, but it could have been so much worse. This was one of their trucks, completely destroyed. It's believed the brake lines melted and the wheels seized up. How intense were the fires? This is aluminium. It melts at 600 degrees, but the fireys say it was even hotter yesterday. That's like melted wax. This crew forced to abandon the $700,000 fire truck, throw on breathing gear and flee. It had got to a point where it was too dangerous to remain in the vehicle. They abandoned their $700,000 pumper, threw on breathing gear and raced to that truck. It was right on my window, uh, the side of my truck got melted. An indicator of the inferno's intensity, a house on the same road set up a GoPro, capturing the furnace as it burst through the bush. At nearby Nowra RFS, it went pitch black at midday. Those flags at half-mast for firefighter Sam McPaul, who died at Gingelic. One of three officers now killed. It could have been more. And that's Chris Reason reporting tonight from Australia.